This video is going to be focused for the do-it-yourselfer who is planning on doing net metering 2.0 and would like to grandfather this net metering 2.0 and as a placeholder so to speak with Edison and to meet the April 14th, 2023 deadline. That means that if they, for instance, wanted to install a system much later than April 14th, 2023, they would still be able to be grandfathered in to the more advantageous net metering 2.0 program. And so what you're going to need to do is go on to a site that is owned by Edison, that is run by Edison, this power clerk system. And you're going to have to update some details in this, in this application and submit a few documents. Uh, one of the documents that you're going to submit is a line diagram. I think the simplest way to do your system would be to use microinverters. That's the way I did it. Uh, there is also a string inverter system you can look at some other videos on. But this is the basic line diagram that came with the California Guide. All you have to do is add this basic detail here. Um, your string inverters, how many of them, and uh, there's a shutoff box that you have to put in, and they're showing you basically the main panel. So there's not much to this document. However, it does look a, a little bit complicated. The other thing you have to submit is a, a, a plot plan, and... Here's where I just cut and pasted on top of a Google Earth picture of my house a set of solar panels and the 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 solar disconnect as well as highlighting the path for fire access to my roof and you'll have to research that a little bit now we're going to go back to the the document for Edison and I'll show you some other things that you're going to need to do. Uh, let's see. We're going to basically add some micro inverters to the system. And they're just going to ask you what kind of micro microinverters you use. And then after that, they're going to just run calculations uh, for you based on what your inputs are. And here you can see that I've specified the manufacturer and um, the uh, quantity and how many uh, and what model number is and from that they know what the microinverter outputs I'm going to be dealing with and then I've also uh, specified the exact set the uh, solar modules and the tilt and azimuth which you could estimate that and uh, the shading factor and they just you know want to know the mounting method and basically that is it what I suggest you do also is get if you can get your system size nailed down and that will be uh, a, a pretty good thing to do so what I suggest you do before you enter everything into the Edison power clerk system is that you go to this solar design 
quote tool on this website here. And from there, you can pick out your panels, your roof type, and everything, and come up with a hypothetical system after knowing roughly what your watt output is going to be. So you just go through here and pick out your panels. Uh, you pick out, uh, and, and they'll, they'll give you basic, the basic dimensions. So you can pick out, say, this panel, and you've got a, a, a tilted a tilted roof, you've got comp shingles, and they'll ask you number of rows and number of panels and what orientation is. And they'll and they'll basically have it give you a sketch here that you could cut and paste if you wanted to uh, on you know, on the uh, on your uh, diagram. So here, like I'm going to put in say eight panels, and there it'll it'll come up with a. Uh, you know, a diagram there of eight panels. And then if you wanted to, of course, you could just take that and paste it onto your diagram. Then it, it takes you through to the microinverters and you could specify how many, how many uh, microinverters that, you know, of course it's gonna try to add, uh, you know, is the number of microwave inverters for the number of panels you have. So it just walks you through everything and then you'll be able to flip over to the to the uh, once you once you've got this quote here, you're going to be able to flip over to the Edison site, and you're going to be able to just uh, enter enter this in enter the enter this same information into Power Clerk, and then I think you'll be pretty well set. Now down the road, if you end up having to add or subtract some. So microinverters, I think you're going to be probably okay so long as you get your application in quicker. And I think it's a pretty cheap insurance policy just to go ahead and uh, do this process that you know you may want to do. Of course, I'm not a professional installer. I did this this work a long time. You can check out a long time ago. You can check out my other videos. But I think this might be a kind of a, an easy way to preserve your net metering 2.0. And uh, wish you luck on your project. And thanks for watching this video. And hit like if you could. That will help me out.